So now we're going to talk about the last of our double king pawn openings. Again, of course, there are others uh, that we're not going to talk about, but these are, are really the, the main ones. So e4, knight f6, knight, knight f3, d6. Okay, this is the Philidor uh, defense. So d4, knight d7. White has a couple of moves here, but I'm going to suggest bishop c4. Okay, c6. Castles, bishop e7. And now white has this very tricky move. Um, and one common theme that you're going to see in double king pawn openings is this weak spot on f7 because there are three pawns right f7 g7 and h7 in the beginning the rook is protecting the h pawn the bishop is protecting the g pawn but only the king is protecting the f pawn so that's why you would never want to move the king so f7 is considered the weak spot so there's so many tactical ideas just around the weak spot so now white plays d takes e5, d takes e5, and now knight g5. Okay, it looks like a little bit of a crazy move because bishop takes g5, just like winning a piece. But of course, queen h5 is here, right? Double attack, attacking the bishop on g5, and more importantly, threatening queen takes f7, checkmate. So now black has to defend against me, and now queen takes g5, knight f6, and white just has a simple advantage here, right? You have the two bishops, king is castled, and life is really good. Now, white has this great b3 move with the idea of fian shadowing your bishop to a3 and hitting the queen. And white has some really nice attacking possibilities here. So that's um, all we're going to talk about when it comes to the Philidor uh, defense.